So for today, we're going to be looking at the D&D set for all of the classes. I finally got all of the armor and I have to say, I have to make it a point to not judge a book by its cover or more specifically judge an armor set by its looks because man, let me tell you, I, I think I love this, these armor sets. Now, I, obviously there's some sets that I like more. I think the Titans got the best set for sure. And then Hunters and then the Warlocks. And that's not even like Warlocks who go to a bad set. I like your set a lot. It's just like the helmet I'm not a big fan of. Other than that, all the sets are, are all the pieces are really cool. So I'm really excited to talk about this armor because I'm going to be gushing out quite a bit. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. It really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification because that also does help a lot. And yeah, there's just a lot of people who come to my channel and don't subscribe. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, really does help the channel quite a bit. And if you like the content, I post a lot more like this. Like it's not just this, I post a lot of fashion. So just do me a favor, do that, and I would appreciate it. Other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, we're gonna be looking at the spectral displacer for the hunters. This one is really, really cool. And I think my my main judgment of this set was just the cloak. I'm not the biggest fan of the cloak. The tentacles in the back, I'm not the biggest fan of. Granted, I understand the, the reference, I do understand it. It's just, it's a little much for me, but honestly, after that, every other piece is golden. Like the helmet's super dope, the chest piece is super dope, the boots are super dope. I think the arms are the only piece where I'm like, it's not as great as the other pieces, but I still made it work. Um, I also think the male and the females look just as good. Like I don't think either or has a better set. That being said, <clears throat> I think the, I, me personally, I just like the male, uh, how they look more with fashion, but man, the sets that I made with the Hunter set is amazing. Like some of the pieces I was just like blown away by it. That being said, when it comes to shadering, this is where I kind of, I don't think it's bad. I think it's pretty cool. It's just the fact that the chess piece has two pieces that are taking like an off color and then like a super off color. You guys will notice it from uh, any shader really, but you guys will notice that the front piece take, uh, takes like an off color and then the stomach stomach actually takes the like off off color, which I haven't seen in a while. So that's like the only negative I can really say because the glows all change color, which I was really worried about that it was gonna really like change it into something else because that's how the default is. It, ch it changes from like a pink to a purple or something like that or red, orange, either way. It looks good. The glows like stay the same, which is really, really good because it means you, you, you can make some really cool glow sets with this, with these, sets, especially the boots and the cloak and the helmet. Not so much the chest piece and the arms. There are some glows in those two pieces. It's just not predominant enough for me to be like, oh, wow, that's cool. It's more of just like I notice it sometimes, but I think the best shader to like really showcase the like off coloring and whatnot would most likely be. I want to say cryptic insignia, but I would have to say Abyssinian gold just because Abyssinian gold, the off colors are very predominant because when it comes to plate armor, uh, it's black and specifically for the middle piece, it's like a weird black Brown and then the stomach is that black. So yeah, just be aware that there are some off colors when it comes to the chest piece, but everything else shaders really well, thankfully. As for the Titans, we have the Apex, Apex Draconic, and I, man, let me tell you, when I first saw this set, I was like, ah, I get it, I get the reference, it's a chromatic dragon, specifically the gold uh, dragon, which is cool, I just don't know if I was like, me, per I like I like chromatic dragons a lot, um, I don't know enough about D&D to be like, oh, this is what they all mean, I, like, heard snippets of it, because uh, I like to watch YouTube videos occasionally of lore stuff from different things, and I did hear about Dracon or like not Draconic. I did hear about uh, Chromatic Dragons, and I think I think they're really cool. Um, that being said, man, did this armor really just uh, when I first started like trying to use it, it really just shut me up, and I was like, this armor is fucking awesome. So when it comes to the the genders, I do think the males look a little bit better. And that's specifically just because the arms for the for the females just look a little bit too small for my taste. For the males, it looks just right, but that's a problem that uh, female titans always have. So it's not really that big of like a thing for me, I guess. Even though it does bug me, but 
I will have to say the best piece from this set has to be the helmet and the boots. These two pieces by far are the best pieces in my opinion. I love the fact that the in the in the middle of the stomach and then you see you see like it parts halfway and the mark is part of that and then the leg is part of that which is really really cool. Um, I do think the arms might be the weakest piece because I think the helmet is also a strong piece as well. Definitely the arms are the weakest piece. That being said, it's not by no means the worst because I the set that I made with this for the Titans, I think is fucking amazing. So yeah, when it comes to like pieces or sets that I made with these pieces, oh man, the Titans, I had so much fun. I know a, I know a set is really good if I'm able to make the class specific video really fast and for the titans i think it took about maybe 20 to 20 to 25 minutes not 30 minutes i don't think i don't think it took that long but it took it was it was fast and for me that's pretty fast i think the fastest i've ever made a set was like 10 minutes but 20 minutes is pretty pretty good considering in like some other sets i've like for example <laughs> i know this is a tangent but for example, the while while I'm talking about the tangent, might as well show you how it shaders, which it shaders really well. But uh yeah, some sets, specifically the new seasonal ornaments that we got for this season, that one took me around I wanna say 40 to an hour for just who was it? I think it was either the Titan or the No, and the Warlock came up really fast. I think it was for the Titan, because the Hunter, I was like, okay, I can mix it, make it work, but the Titan was really rough for me maybe an hour maybe 30 to 40 minutes i don't remember but yeah as for how it shaders it shaders really well um i don't see anything that's like pisses me off too much aside from the fact that the uh scales take the off color which i'm not the biggest fan of that being said it's not the biggest deal because uh, you can you can definitely make it work with other pieces that take off coloring it's just the fact that there's a lot of off colors to this set um specifically there's actually the whole set has off colors the mark has this anything that has a scale will have the off color so pretty much everything and the helmet um aside from the main plate face the under armor i guess you would say is taken off color as well so there is a lot of off color and i usually hate off coloring but at the same time from the sets that i made last night it's not as bad as i thought it was going to be because i made it work and a lot of the sets that i made look so amazing so let me know what you guys think about the oh i just noticed something weird um for the females the boots the uh the frills don't have the glow like the male titans do that's really weird um that is definitely not something that's yeah that's probably a bug so female titans don't worry like this they most definitely will fix this because that doesn't seem like something that someone would be like yeah only males get the glow not the females that being said some people are probably like oh no glow for the boots for the females that probably sounds better so yeah let me know what you guys think and then last but not least we have flares dominion set for the warlocks now i'm gonna be honest with you guys initially i was like this armor is fucking terrible um and honestly most of that was just because of the helmet and the bond when i started using the boots the chest piece and the arms I immediately was like, yo, these set, these pieces are fucking cool. And I still hold that. The chest piece, I think is fucking amazing. The arms and boots are awesome. And honestly, even the bond to a certain extent, I, I actually like a lot, especially when it comes to shadering. And same thing for the helmet. When it comes to shadering, it's really cool. It's just, I don't know. Um, it's just the mind flare helmet <laughs> just really is a little much for me, I guess I would say, but I still think it's cool like aesthetically i think it looks cool it's just my main gripe was i don't know how what i'm gonna use to make a set with it and the set that i made for the helmet and the bond i think came out really really well but the arm the arms boots and chest piece by far are some of the best pieces i could could have used for the sets that i made as for our shaders i am really happy that it shaders really well i think the boots are super cool because the like the design of the <clears throat> of the armor is actually taking the glows, which I think is super cool. The arms also have glows, which is super cool. And the chest piece has glows as well. Everything has glows in this actually. So like the arms have glows, boots, chest piece, the bond, and even the helmet, the tentacles actually take the glow, which is super cool. So overall, uh, when it comes to shadering, I do think it's pretty cool. That being said, it is kind of annoying. Um, 
sometimes specifically just because uh you're trying to combine certain pieces with each other uh, and i'm more talking about like combining different pieces with this armor set that's when it comes becomes annoying in my opinion but it's not <clears throat> it's not something like super duper annoying where i'm oh i gave up on the armor far far from it i think the armor is just super cool it's just you have to like really get into like what what your vision for that armor is i guess you would say or the set that you're making so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys coming up to this point um i will be having the shader video coming out right after this one i will also be doing the class specific videos and i am currently working on the exotic videos i already have the hunters and titans done i just have to do the voiceover and then do everything else and hopefully you guys will start seeing the exotic videos soon because you guys also will not be getting an, an exotic ornament for Eververse because the new exotics got those ornaments. So what I just decided to do is just combine them into one big video. So you will see the base look of the or of the exotic and then the ornaments as well. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Remember to like and subscribe and subscribe especially and hit the bell notification if you want to keep up to date with my content because I do post quite a bit of content for someone who just does who just does fashion. Um but I will I really want to start covering other games because as much as I love Destiny 2 after a point it's going to start to get stale and if I'm being quite honest, the game's already kind of stale for me like right now um on Steam. I'm not even playing Destiny 2 like realistically so right now uh the only reason i have destiny 2 is because i was doing the fashion stuff yesterday for the seasonal ornaments but before this it was like right here like i was i've been playing elder scrolls online i want to see how the fashion looks in this game because it might potentially be a game that i cover seven days to die the 1.0 just came out and i'm excited to play it um i tried to play skyrim just because a uh, a uh, youtuber that I, or streamer that i like was playing it and i kind of wanted to play it dead rising because i never played it and i wanted to play it and travelers rest because i love this game so yeah there's a bunch of stuff like dude it's not even funny like um warframe this is one game that i want to cover on the channel because i think the fashion is fucking amazing i would say the best but for me final fantasy 14 has the best fashion personally um then world of warcraft as well i was planning to do a fashion video where we look at all of the games that i currently play currently play for fashion so warframe destiny 2 uh, world of warcraft and final fantasy 14 and covering how you how fashion works in these in those games and then judging them i'm bit, still, still thinking about doing that one just because i think it'll be a good video but yeah let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys committed to this point let me know what you guys think about the armor set i really am curious to see what you guys think about the armor but be safe i'll see you guys later